You will not believe who Republican Senator Katie Britt is blaming for her absolutely bizarre and farcical response to Joe Biden's State of the Union speech. Or actually, if you know anything about the modern Republican Party, maybe you will believe it. As the Daily Beast reports, Katie Britt blames everyone but herself in a shameless fundraising plea. She is blaming the so-called far less far left media for her disastrous speech, despite delivering the response with an affected voice out of Handmaid's Tale, despite making absolutely no sense in the response. She is blaming everyone but herself. As the article points out, uh, the first term senator's stunted delivery was widely mocked even among members of her own party that didn't stop her from blaming the far left media for the response. Following my speech, the far left media didn't waste a second flooding the airwaves with despicable, disgusting messages about me. They attacked my character. They attacked my faith. They attacked my identity as a mother and a wife. Um, it was mocked on The Daily Show, SNL by Jimmy Kimmel on the Oscars, et cetera. Fox News said she did an excellent job. So she said in this fundraising email, as I watched the dishonest left media, uh, leftist media and the liberal elites making a mockery of everything I've dedicated my entire life to protect, laughing at the destruction of the American dream, disrespecting how our country has descended into a dystopian nightmare for countless families. I'm disgusted and I know you are, too. So I'm counting on you to send message with me. I think she means send a message. And what she means is give her money, send a message by giving her money. Uh, aren't they supposed to be like the party of personal responsibility or something like that? And of course, this is so predictable. Instead of just apologizing for lying, she told the story about a victim of sex trafficking and linked it to Biden implicitly. And then it turns out it happened 20 years ago, had nothing to do with Biden. And when they get caught, they double down. They say, oh, this is all because of the far left media. And now she's actually going identity politics. This is the funniest part of it. Here is an excerpt from Ted Cruz's podcast. I know Ted Cruz's podcast where she says it's because she's a woman that they want to silence her. I thought they were against identity politics. Take a listen to this. And, and, and you told a story about a woman being sex trafficked and, and the media has gone crazy, quote, fact checking you. The Washington oh Post gave you four Pinocchios. Oh. The story is from 20 years ago. It deserves for Pinocchio's unbelievable. The interesting thing for me has been that the, none of the media has covered the fact that under Trump in 2018, that human trafficking was a $500 million business. It is now under Joe Biden, a 13 billion yep, yep. billion dollar business. By the way, I looked for how they're calculating that was not able to find it. It's like you can't even fact check it because I wasn't able to find what the math is. Nobody they want to silence a conservative woman for speaking ah. out on this topic. They don't want to bring light and help the women who are actually being trafficked. Well, and, and look, there is a reason they view you as an enormous threat. The media really? wants to tell the story that I had never even heard of her before the response, to be totally honest. Only Republicans on planet Earth are old, fat, bald, white guys. And, and, and you don't fit their narrative. No, I don't. <laughs> uh, like a young mom is, is going right at, they want voters to think, I'm sorry, if you're a woman, you have to be a liberal Democrat. That's right. the only thing allowed. Right. And, and, and so it was... It was sadly predictable that they went after you. Was it, it? it was. And they didn't do their homework, too. I mean, you've had to deal with this for quite some time. But the liberal media isn't interested in the truth. Nope. They're interested in burying the truth about Joe Biden and his border crisis. But th all they want to do is um, they have an agenda. Right. This sort of claim is exactly the type of identity politics they claim to oppose. They're going after me because I'm a conservative woman. Ted Cruz says they're going after you because you're a strong mother and a conservative. I thought that you all were against this sort of identity politics. And of course, the whole point of that anecdote about the trafficking story that she told in the speech was to link Joe Biden's border policy to that particular woman who was trafficked. And yet that happened. 20 or so years ago, they aren't actually against identity politics.
They're against it when they perceive the left to be invoking identity politics. But when it's useful to them, they're going after me because I'm a mother and a woman and a conservative woman. They are pathetic. And by the way, Ted Cruz is just as pathetic as she is. Ted Cruz is, you know, it, it, it's really uh, uh, birds of a feather that flock together because Cruz is also an expert at self victimizing. These are these are the faces of the victims of the liberal media in the United States. So no surprise, the party of personal responsibility blaming everyone other than the person who told the dishonest story, not not coming as a shock in this media environment. We all know that person who loves taking photos, but they have hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands in the case of some folks I know of pictures just wasting away on their phone. You can put them to good use with a unique, stylish digital picture frame from Aura Frames. I got these Aura Frames for my parents and preloaded them with pictures of the baby and my parents love it. And I can add more pictures from wherever I am and they, they pop up on their frames. It's so easy to see why Aura has been named the number one digital picture frame by Wired and by The New York Times. My favorite part is you can use a QR code on the outside of the box to load it with pictures so you can still hand off the gift brand new in the box, but it's already preloaded with the pictures. Then you and the recipient can add pictures via the app. No cables or USB. It's all over Wi Fi, super convenient, and it comes with unlimited storage. Load as many pictures as you want. For a limited time, my audience gets $20 off their best selling frame. Go to AuraFrames.com and use code PACMAN to save on the perfect gift. The link and code are down below. Terms and conditions apply.